Hi, I'm Lachlan and I'm your JHC Perth Chef Host for 2015. Today we're going to learn how to make some hummus together, one of everyone's favourite dips. So chickpeas have been grown in the Middle East for over 7,000 years. And in Australia they're mostly grown in Queensland and through New South Wales. But there's some growth also in WA in the South West and also in South Australia. Australia is the world's leading exporter of chickpeas to Bangladesh, India and Pakistan. And it's the ability of chickpeas to fix nitrogen from the atmosphere into a digestible product that makes them more efficient per unit land than consuming meat. Chickpeas also keep really well once they've been picked. You can keep them in a dry place, they don't have to be refrigerated, and so they're quite energy efficient to store as well. They're high in protein, so they're a good meat substitute, and they're also high in unsaturated fats, which are really good for your health and well-being. So I'm going to be quite rough with measurements for this. I'll put in a solid recipe at the end of this video so you can have a look afterwards. So here are my chickpeas. They've been drained and they're going straight in the food processor. As you can see, the lid goes on and we just want these ones to be quite coarsely pulsed. So maybe Maybe only two or three setting. So next we have some fresh olive oil from Pemberton, which is where our lovely guitar player comes from. We'll put a bit of that straight into the food processor with the chickpeas and a few teaspoons of tahini, which is sesame seed paste. Okay, so I've just blended that together. Now what we're going to do is add some lemon juice. So take your lemon, quite a good knife, it's so cut in half easily. And you're squeezing that straight into the food processor, making sure you're not getting any pips in there while you do that. So the next step is to cut up some parsley and to crush some garlic to add to what you've got now. It's nice and smooth, we've whipped it, whizzed it through on quite a high speed, so it's pretty much ready to go. And the finishing touch is some salt, some pepper, and some paprika. So straight in the top. So the most important thing here really is that when you put your finger straight in the hummus, the tastes really match up. So what I'm doing now, just to finish off, is cutting up a couple of olives and whacking them on top. I really like the texture that they add and the taste is a massive bonus too. So this is goodbye from me, Lachlan, your GHC chef for 2015. We'll be keeping you in the loop with a few more videos coming up over the next couple of weeks. How's that for taste? Oh, no.